Today is December 23rd. I've been up at the plant in Darlington, South Carolina all week. I'm taking a little break. We'll go sit out tonight. Trying to see if we can't have something come in here a little bit later. One-legged man doing all this. All right, let's see if we can't get out of here. It's a pretty night. Sun's just going down. I'm gonna skirt around the field out here and see if I can get up into my stand in the middle of the field. Not making too much noise. Tripod stand right there in the little oak tree. All the years I've been plowing this, I let this oak tree grow. Oh, look, at the, look at the clover I've got in here right now. Wow. That's impressive. Holy crap, I didn't realize that. This is December 23rd. I've got a hell of a field of clover right here right now. Wow, man. I have no idea. It's freaking nice. Yeah, we got a little bit of sun left. fennel right there. So I'm going to take a nap and camp out for a bit. Now today's January 5th. I'm out here. Pat's back on the dog that bit me. Um, started this weekend working on this field here. This is the seven acre field. I'm going to put corn in this this year again and uh, getting it uh, getting it mowed down. It kind of got away from us last summer. Uh, the five acre field on down here ways is uh, we're going to leave that fallow. Uh, Pat kind of liked having that uh, tall dog fennel in there. It's, it's up over about eight feet tall. And deer seem to like it and they hide in it and uh, it, uh, we killed quite a few deer. I killed three in this field right here alone. So it's, it's been a good year, uh, but I want to get this planted again and, and get it under the plow here uh, in short order. So I'm gassing up and going to put some... Uh, uh, oil in it and a little bit of coolant and uh, get back in the seat a little weird feeling getting back on this thing it's uh, definitely not as fun as it was um, I'm in the market for a new tractor uh, something with a cab on it some air conditioning I'm old enough now you know air conditioning is almost a necessity so um, but for now this will work and I'm just being extra careful with it and uh, wasn't the tractor's fault that my accident happened. It was, it was all mine, so the tractor had nothing to do with it. I just got to stay alert, stay awake, and pay attention. And uh, when we finish this field up, I've probably got another acre or two down here in the bottom i got to get done. And uh, then I'll go down and cut the bottom field. Uh, we got little pine trees down there about, you know, six to eight inches tall, and, I mean, just a carpet of them. So they've got to get killed. they got to get cut. Once you cut them, they'll never come back. <clears throat> but it's amazing how... how how they populated the fields along the edges. So, gonna get at it today. All right, well, finished the seven acre field. It all looks pretty good. We got down here, ran out of gas in the farthest corner in the farthest field I can away from the truck. Truck's way back up here. Let's see it back there. This is the lower five acre field. I'm just getting started on this. You can see here what I mean about the pine trees. This green in here is all pines. It's amazing. I mean, the amount of pines that uh, seeded. I had no idea I had this much of a seed bank out here in this field. But, you know, that's just one full year of sitting fallow. And those pines just taken over. This would be an impenetrable mess in about two years. 
But uh, we'll get it mowed. Pat wants to leave this fallow, like I said, and, and uh, let's find all this dog fennel here. We'll, uh, we'll all grow back. As long as we don't get too much uh, sickle pod out here. Well, that stuff is my nemesis. But uh, yeah, broke down or ran out of gas way down here in the corner. My good Lord, you can't catch a break. All right, I'll head back up the truck here and head home. It's freezing out here.